Hey goalies, this is Adam Cooper from the Goalies Art Channel and today I'm bringing you a preview of the new uh, CCM chest protector I just recently purchased. I've only played a couple games in this thing uh, but wanted to just give you guys uh, first heads up on what I'm thinking of this thing since uh, purchasing it uh, over the holidays. So it's the CCM, pull back here, Extreme Flex shield too and this thing is awesome so if you have not subscribed to the goalies our channel um, please take the time to do so just click that subscribe button down below if you like this video please let me know give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments uh, please share those as well so coming up next I will give you my first impressions and thoughts on the new uh, Extreme Shield Flex uh, 2 from CCM. All right, we're back and I'm all suited up in my new CCM Extreme Flex Shield 2 chesty. This is a large chest protector that I purchased. Um, I'm about uh, six feet tall, so uh, this thing fits great. Um, the way I've been wearing it is, is as is right now. So you can see the neck guard is a little bit high. Uh, you can adjust that based on these shoulder uh, straps here that actually lower the chesty to come down, like down here if you need uh, need to. Uh, one of the challenges I'm trying to just figure out is, do I want it sitting a bit lower like this if I just pull down uh, to kind of simulate that? Or do I want to have it kind of up a little bit where the shoulders are still a little bit high? Uh, and go from there but that's something I'm thinking about one of the other things that you can do if you're worried about this neck area is you can just put it in like this uh, and then there's no obstruction so when you're wearing your mask your mask is going to come down about here when you're going down uh, it's not getting in the way when it's up there is potential to hit that or if you're going down, your head does naturally come out. So something to think about with this chest protector, I am still playing around with it. It is not um, any major issue that would negate me from buying this chest protector. Actually, what I do like about it is that because you can adjust both the floaters, there are some straps and I'll show you in a moment how to do that. And the belly uh, pad here uh, can be adjusted. That gives some little flexibility on where you want this. And if you have a dangler um, protecting your neck area or you wear a neck guard uh, down below, which I do, this actually can come quite a bit lower. So let's look at some of the features of this chest protector. First of all, I love the look of it right now. This white, you look like a stormtrooper, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll see how much this holds up uh, and how much it's gonna discolor probably why there's not many chest protectors out there that are white is because they get dirty. So we'll see how this thing holds up. Um, one of the key things that is a selling feature, I think, for this chest protector is the D3O foam here. Um, I've had an opportunity to take some direct hits in the chest, didn't feel a thing. So the protection in this area is exceptional for a pro chest protector. Uh, some other features that I really like about this chest protector, the arms are really mobile. I can do circles with these things, back, forward, no obstruction. Uh, so I would say that if you're a goalie that loves to play the puck with the stick, these are these, this chest protector has no breaking period, so you can really move forward with that. Uh, the one thing, you know, you can lift your hands up above your head like this, but these, full, these shoulder area here, these shoulder um, items here do get a bit in the way. So you can, front, you can, you know, you always do the nose test. Can I touch my face? Can I put on my helmet? Remove it during a game? Yeah, you can do that. Can I drink my water bottle? Yep, no problem. Um, but if I want to do this motion, it might, see, it gets stuck. But I'm not doing jumping jacks. <laughs> I'm not doing this in a game. So I, I'm not too concerned about that. So overall, um, just looking at the mobility here, it, it really good. The arms are, are really great and uh, no obstructions at all. This chest protector, by the way, is uh, I did a weight comparison with my prior um, senior warrior ritual and that 
chest protector was uh, a large as well, and it was 6.2 pounds. This one comes in at 6.4 pounds. So not bad considering you do get that added significant upgrade in chest protection here. And these arms, these arms are way more durable um, and harder materials in them than my Warriors were. So, so far, um, they seem to be holding up. It's only been a couple games though, so it's hard for me to kind of provide a real detailed uh, evaluation on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing off and just show you some of the different strapping, show you the back of this thing uh, and a little bit more inside. So just give me a moment. Okay, I'm back again and wanted to just give you a little bit more details on the back of this chest protector. So you can see this, it's got this uh, spine protector here with very, it's um, very flexible, um, mobile or movable material. Uh, so it provides protection, but it also uh, creates some flex in your back. So more contours to your back versus going flat, which is nice. So I've just added, added comfort there. The strapping system on the back is really great. So you've got these two straps here to adjust the height of the uh, shoulder floaters. So you can actually have them come in more forward if you put it here, or you can stretch it uh, depending where you have the rest of this and actually have it really tight to the shoulders if you like that approach too. Then if I take off the bigger ones, and this is the chest height, these come right off. So you can really adjust that chest height. So if we go maximum here, um, let me try this one. So you can really, really lower that neck guard, depending on what you prefer. So that, the, the customization on this thing is, is really good on the shoulders, which I like. Um, what else can I say? The other parts in here, uh, the arms, for example, some really solid elbow pad here. I like that there's minimal um, clasps, and if they are um, buckles, they're pretty substantial plastic versus some of the other ones out there. So you've got a um, nice little mini pad here to protect your forearm. And you've got two Velcro straps right here, and then one by the wrist right here, which is good. And then just a closer look at the arm guard here. And this is hard plastic on here, hard down here too. The chest side, you can see there's a little bit of rib, extra rib protection here. Uh, these side areas, really wrap around you nicely and there's buckle protection so it's got a buckle here snap-in buckle which is really great and then this covers it on the inside is this removable extra rib protector i like keeping it in there it just gives that extra snug feel that i like and then on the inside of this thing Lots of segmented areas uh, that I think could help out with a bit of the aerating when you're drying this thing. Uh, what else can I share? If we look at the bottom here, this material here is really flexible. So if, you, if it's getting too long, you can just tuck that up, which is nice, or just let it hang down. Some elastic here to adjust the um, flex in the sides too. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the initial preview of the CCM Extreme Shield 2. Uh, so far, so good. And um, the reason I upgraded to this thing for my war Senior Warrior, I really like that Senior Warrior, but I found that um, the arms on that thing were just not as protective as this chest protector. Um, I was playing in some um, hockey uh, shinny that just some higher end guys were just nailing my arms and it was uh, causing some significant bruises so anyway um 
hopefully at, at a later date, I'll be able to give a much more detailed review on what's working and what's not. But overall, so far so good in the first couple games that I've used this thing, and uh, you might want to check it out. Subscribe to the Ghoulies R channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'm always open to comments or questions and do my best to answer those for you. And then finally, um, the Goalies Art channel is all about sharing, so I'm always sharing uh, on ice video, and uh, folks are really good at providing me some coaching advice. But also, um, don't hesitate to reach out for any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching. See you next time.